We're back with another plus size Walmart haul, y'all. Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Aralia. I'm a personal stylist and my passion in life is to help plus size women look and feel their absolute best. I believe that everyone deserves to look and feel beautiful regardless of size or age. Part of my job as a personal stylist, of course, is to do a lot of shopping and boy, do I love to shop. And this time around, we are shopping at Walmart. What I truly love about Walmart is that you can find some really great stuff that is very well made. You just have to know where to look and that's where I come in. I do all of the shopping, I do all of the looking and I bring you the best of the best here on my channel. I do have to make a disclaimer about Walmart and the, the stock that they have available and how it appears. They have this regional supply chain model where they may not have stock in the Pacific Northwest, but they do have stock in South Central Texas. So make sure to pop in your zip code because that's going to determine where they're looking at as far as their, their shipping centers. And if they have it available in your area, then it will show as available, whether in store or available for shipping. I have seen some things that were completely out of stock starting to come in stock. So that being said, I'm not going to say anything about the stock status because I don't know what stock looks like in your area. All right, so with that bit of housekeeping, let's go ahead and dive in. So the very first thing that I have for you today is this beautiful, beautiful dress from Scoop. It is an asymmetrical hemline tiered skirt dress. They've got it in like a deep purple, like an aubergine, and they also have it in black. I picked up the one in black. When I very first saw this on the website, I was very, very intrigued by this dress because if you're not aware, an asymmetrical hemline is actually one of those little tricks that you can use if you're short to help provide the illusion of height. Because it hits in a very flattering spot for a lot of us short ladies, it's a crinkle satin dress. And when I pulled it out of the packaging, because I forgot that I had ordered it, when I pulled it out of the packaging, I was all like, oh, hello to my holiday dress because it's a really beautiful lightweight satin that will suffice in for an event. I'm showing it with my strappy Avery sandals from Amazon The Drop, which I love. I've added a faux leather blazer on top and then a patent leather clutch. This is such a lovely dress, guys. And if it's available for you, you absolutely need to pick it up because it is a beautiful, beautiful dress for a fall wedding or any kind of events that you might have coming up in the months to come since we are getting into the holidays. The next piece is another one that just blew me away, guys. It is this beautiful, beautiful satin blouse from Scoop. I picked it up in the color ivory. I debated back and forth whether I wanted the ivory or the mauve. Sometimes mauve, mauve, mauve does not look good on my skin tone. It pulls out all of the yellow tones in my skin and it's just not very flattering for me. However, the ivory, of course, being a neutral works well with everything. And I think that this is one of those blouses that is so beautifully understated and luxurious. Definitely, definitely gives off a quiet luxury or old money aesthetic. It is so stunningly beautiful. Now it does have a button on the back. You may have to have some help getting that buttoned. I was able to do it okay without any problems and it does have a tie in the back. I didn't bother to tie a bow but that would be really really beautiful if you have short hair or if you like to wear your hair up or want to wear your hair up and show that bow off in the back stunning little style detail. It also has the same pretty little gold buttons on the sleeves. Now, the one thing that I will say about the sleeves is that they were a little bit constrictive. So I was limited in how much I could move in them when they were buttoned. So you could unbutton it or you could have it taken to a tailor to have them put some an elastic hoop on there instead. And that way it, it won't bind as much. But for me, uh, 
it's worth it because this is such a beautiful piece that you will have in your wardrobe for years and years and years. The satin is really beautiful. It's lightweight, but it is well constructed. It is a slight crinkle satin. It's perfection, especially if you have like an interview or something like that, and you're looking for a blouse to wear to work for something as formal as that. You could totally do that, wear that. You could wear it if you just work in a more conservative office, or if you just like to be more conservative in your work attire. You could also wear it out with a beautiful pencil skirt. Oh my. Here I am showing it with a brown satin midi skirt that I'm going to talk about here in just a moment. You could dress this up for a party. You could wear it to work. You could wear it to church. You could wear it in so many different ways. You could even dress it down with a pair of jeans. I mean, it's one of those tops that will do everything for you and you will look so polished and pulled together. It's just, oh, it's, it's, I can't, I don't even have words. So the skirt that I'm pairing it with is from Time and True. And this is a skirt that I am watching like a hawk for restocks because it comes in a few different colors. I picked it up in brown. I do have my eye on the red one. I love this satin midi skirt. It has a slit in it, first of all, which makes the skirt move in a way that no other satin skirt that I've tried can move because it's open and it's got this beautiful, just like flutter and flow. It's just stunning. And then the satin itself, it feels more like silk. I mentioned when I was talking about quiet luxury aesthetics and, and how you can tell the difference between a polyester satin and a silk. Well, this particular polyester satin has almost the same hand feel that silk has. It is a stunning, stunning skirt. So if you can get your hands on one of these, do it because it is so beautiful. And this is the type of skirt that you could wear year round. The silhouette works well trans seasonally. Definite, definite steal at $15. It is a stunner and one that I hope that you can get your hands on. The next piece is the one that you see me wearing here. It is a pullover sweater by Scoop. It's a turtleneck pullover sweater. I didn't want to love this sweater. I picked it up because it has that 1950s kind of style aesthetic. Totally see Audrey Hepburn or Jacqueline Onassis Kennedy walking around in a top like this. It's in a really beautiful, super, super soft knit. It has a really nice turtleneck, which you can fold down if you want to. You can fold it in, you can fold it out or you can wear it like I'm wearing it. It is not in the least bit uncomfortable because it has such a nice loose fit. It just sits around the neck really nicely, keeping you nice and cozy warm. It's a great layering piece and the knit is so soft and cozy. I've got it in this color called Bistra, which is kind of like a mustardy yellow kind of color. Oh, I put this on and I was like, mm, it's not going back. I don't have anything in my wardrobe like this. And I really love that it emulates that 1950 style silhouette that we're seeing on trend at the moment. Definitely another one of those quiet luxury, old money aesthetic kind of pieces that you could have in your wardrobe that's gonna give you that classic relaxed yet elevated look. The sweater is very floofy and so you are going to have some pilling on the areas where there's friction. This is to be expected. It does not mean that this sweater is not of quality. It absolutely is. It's just that pilling happens with sweaters. The softer the fiber, the more pilling you can expect. And so if you just get yourself a sweater comb or a debobbler, you know, one of those little sweater shavers that you can find on Amazon, you can easily get rid of those and your sweater looks as good as new. This is absolutely one to grab. And I would even go so far as to say that you could size down in this sweater. I'm wearing my usual 2XL and there's room to move around. If you're in between sizes or you just just want to um, go with something that's a slightly snugger fit, then you could go down a size in this particular sweater and still be okay. The next dress that I'm showing you is the free assembly sleeveless midi dress in Kalamato Combo is the colorway that I picked up. It is a striped crew neck sweater dress. I kept resisting picking this dress up guys because I'm like, oh no, those stripes are, no, they're just not gonna work. No, 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 will not work on a plus size body. But you know what? What if it does work out? What if it does look good? Man, my gals are gonna miss out if I don't at least try it out and see how it looks and see if it's actually worth getting. I'm gonna leave the decision up to you 
for me personally, I really liked it. I thought it was beautiful. I thought the stripes were actually quite flattering only because the dress doesn't cling. It moves away from the body just a little bit and I picked up my true size of 2XL and so it's not clinging to anything in an unflattering way in my opinion. I think that the fact that they vary the stripes helps to kind of break it up a little bit. I don't think that it is an unflattering stripe even for a plus size gal. I do like the colorway. I love the fact that they mix the navy blue with the olive green and with ivory and then with that lilac -y kind of pink that I can't wear up close to my face because it makes me look very sallow but in this dress it works because it's not up against my face I really thought this dress was quite beautiful and just as everything else with free assembly it is made a majority natural fiber with a little bit of elastane or spandex I'm not sure which but they throw in a little bit of stretchy stuff I think this is actually one that is appropriate for the office you could also wear it running around town you know doing errands grocery shopping whatever you need to do and then of course as it gets cooler you can layer over it you can drape a sweater over your shoulders in a coordinating color i mean it's a beautiful beautiful dress that i think works in a lot of ways if you're interested in the dress at least try it on and see how it looks because if you don't try it then you'll never know and i would have missed out on such a beautiful dress as well as telling you about it before you say never try it on you may change your mind just like I did. Now I'm going to start talking about some of the stuff that I've shown on the channel already before, but that I feel bears mentioning again. I'm talking about this beautiful free assembly Henley sweater dress. I have mine in navy blue. I love the fact that it has that white trim on it. It just elevates this dress so much. It is a beautiful fit and flare. So it's got like an A-line style skirt. It is incredibly, incredibly flattering. It is so comfortable. I've already worn it once and I featured it in one of my um, days of outfits. By the way, if you're not aware on Instagram, I am doing a hundred days of outfits. I I started it on the 23rd of September, I think. It's essentially me showing you my outfits for the next 100 days until the end of 2023. I wanted to challenge myself to get dressed every day to pull together outfits because I've got so many really cool things that I'm picking up for the fall and some stuff that I picked up last year that I wanna be able to style and wear for you guys. So Instagram is definitely the place to go and check that out. I am featuring it every single day. I'm doing a reel that's showing my outfit of the day. So make sure you're following me on Instagram. It's gonna be linked down below. This dress is is stunning guys so 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 good I can't even tell you how amazing this dress is it is a made of a really really nice thick knit it is I think mostly cotton this dress is a stunner I just can't get over how amazing this dress makes me feel I think it's very flattering as well and uh, perfect for the office perfect for running around doing errands perfect if you've got like a family gathering I mean it's perfect in so many ways and if you can grab this dress I definitely would I would love to get the one in olive but I'm not sure if they're going to have it available in my size anytime soon but if you can find this dress pick it up because it's a winner by the way, I just also wanted to mention that I am wearing shapewear under all of the dresses. I've got a few of you asking me every now and again about shapewear. I'm wearing the Honey Love Cami bodysuit. It's the only shapewear that I will wear because it is so incredibly comfortable. I could wear that that bodysuit in the height of summer and I would be okay. It has a built-in bra um, and they do sell it in the long leg style. So, um, you know, I've got the panty style. I highly highly recommend it because it is so 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 comfortable the next set of dresses that i'm going to show you are the free assembly utility shirt dress this particular dress dresses um, were what I consider a return snafu. I bought the Dijon color, that mustardy yellow color, first at the store. I loved it so much that I ordered the black one online. Well, I went to Walmart and I had no idea where my receipt was and I had about $150 worth of returns and they could only do max $50 credit. So I ended up coming home with this dress. And so now I've got the 
Dijon version and I've got the black version, but you know what? I'm not mad at it in the least. Both of these dresses are stunningly beautiful in their own right. I love to style them. They're so much fun to wear. I took the black one with me actually to Europe. I wore it for afternoon tea in London and then I wore it to our fancy dinner out in Paris and it just I felt beautiful both times so this is a really really great dress 100% cotton really really versatile and what I love about these dresses is that they will transition very easily in the spring and into summer because they're so lightweight if you're in a warm climate you need these because they are so good they emulate that fall feeling because of the colorways that they have available the other piece that I ended up having to keep that I was going to return is this really nice teal blue top I've already worn it once and I have to say that it's a fantastic work shirt if you're looking for something that's got a little bit of style that is really super comfortable to wear that's going to work in a lot of different ways even at the office then this is definitely one to grab it's got a really nice kind of like a henley neckline but it's got poof sleeves on it and it comes in a lot of different colors i just am so glad that i picked up this really beautiful teal color so moving on to the things that that were kind of a fail but kind of not so the first thing is a fail and it is these barrel cargo jeans pants from free assembly the only reason that they're a fail is that they're slightly too small uh, they are a size 18 which is the max size that free assembly carries in their pants i thought i would give it a try anyway because you know i'm a normally an 18 but not their 18 they're, they tend to run a little small when where it comes to their pants and their blazers i wanted to try them because they're a barrel leg and i've been very curious about the barrel leg pant silhouette that has been kind of floating around. I have to say that I didn't mind the barrel leg part of these. If they did have them in a size up, I would absolutely get these. I really, really like them. I love the fact that they have that barrel leg. It lends itself to being dressed up, which is how I'm showing it here. And um, this top that I picked up last year from Walmart, it's by Eloquy Elements, which is still available this year, which is why I'm showing it in. I really love like this little top because it really helps to dress things up even though it is more of a t-shirt it is a thicker knit t-shirt but still they call it a tee it's a balloon sleeve tee with buttons feel that those buttons actually help to elevate it and make it dressier and so that's what inspired me to wear the heels with the pants and this little top I just felt like I don't know I just it was a it was a mood you know i really like the barrel leg i think i'm gonna start experimenting a little bit more with that pant silhouette so make sure to let me know in the comments if you are interested in seeing more barrel leg styles here on the channel the next piece that i brought in from scoop is this little mock neck top it's a ribbed knit top um it is a synthetic fabric it reminds me a lot of the rib knit that you get from h and m um, it is polyester uh, it wasn't uncomfortable though it was a little bit hot but not uncomfortable didn't itch or anything like that it is a really nice utilitarian top it looks a lot smaller than it is though because it does stretch quite a bit um, and without clinging i don't think in a bad way but um, I don't know that I'm going to hang on to it, though, because I just, I don't know. I've got other um, rib knit tops like this that I like better. But it is a beautiful olive color, so if you're looking for that, they also have it in a few other colors. It's a really great layering piece, I think, if you want to wear it to the office. Uh, you know, it will layer really well under blazers because it is actually quite thin. It's not a very uh, bulky knit. Almost reminds me like it wants to be a bodysuit, the way that it clings to the body. But again, I don't feel that it's clinging in a bad way. Um, let me know in the comments though. I could be wrong, but for me personally, when I looked in the mirror, I was all like, yeah, okay, it's, it's nice. Um, I am pairing it with these pants that I feel are a little bit of a fail. They are a pair of faux leather pants by Sofia Vergara. I picked them up in the size 20. They did fit. I'm not going to lie. They fit pretty much everywhere. They weren't tight. They, if I had gone up a size, they would have been too loose. So they were the right size for me, but what I didn't like was that they were a little bit narrower in the hips. And so what ended up happening is that the pockets were gaping a little bit on the sides. And I, that's not a flattering look. Um, it does have slit pockets in the back. So it's not like a jean. It's more like a pant. What I also 
liked about them is that the faux leather is really, really soft and it's not, it's not your thick PVC style um, faux leather like other pants that I've tried. It actually has kind of almost like a fleecy lining on the inside. So they feel a little bit more like leggings. That's one of the things though that I did not like about them is that I felt that they clung a little bit around my knees, which I'm not exactly a fan of my knees. And so showing them like that is not something that I think is very flattering. I, at least personally, do not like how it looks. And if I don't like how it looks, I'm not gonna look good in it. Um, and so I wouldn't feel comfortable wearing those. Now they are a little bit long. I did wear them with the Avery sandal and those are about a three, three and a half inch heel and the length looked good. So if you are interested in these pants and you're five feet tall or maybe five one thereabouts, you will have to wear heels with these in order to have the length work out for you. Then I decided, well, let's take a look and see what it looks like with the blazer on it. So I put my faux leather blazer on from the anniversary sale by Good American. And I actually thought it looked really cool. And I was like, yeah, this is definitely a rock and roll kind of look. You know, I felt like I belonged in the matrix. It was awesome. If you've got nice legs, then definitely pick these up. They're beautiful. They're soft. They're comfortable. They fit like leggings. I mean, they're very, I don't know. They're way, way, way more comfortable than any other faux leather pant that I have tried. I've tried a jogger. I've tried a trouser and now these, and I think these are my favorites. So definitely, um, I would say try them out and you may like them. I think that they're actually going to be very flattering for a lot of you out there. I saw this little bag on the website um, and I thought, oh wow, plaid, awesome. You know, he's like, this is a great way of working the plaid trend. And then I got it and it was tiny. It's so little and I, I'm not averse to a small bag. Don't get me wrong. You know, I can channel that tiny bag energy, but what I can't handle is this little safety pin detail that it has here. To me, this bag with that little safety pin just looks very, um, it just looks very young. Let's put it that way. It looks very, very young. And by the way, it has a chain. I haven't even undone the strap because I'm like, yeah, I'm not even, I, this is going back. Um, so it does have a faux leather um, and chain strap. That, that way it is more comfortable. The strap is removable. Um, it is a cute little bag. It's made of this like faux leather and it's got this really beautiful plaid detail. So you definitely can play with the plaid trend if you like that look and you don't mind this little safety pin thing here. For me personally, this is just not my vibe. And so that's why it's not staying. Um, but what I will say though, is that this would make an excellent gift for a young lady in your life. It's beautiful for uh, someone in your life that is, you know, still in high school, maybe early college years. This is definitely a really great Christmas gift. I think I know that if I were in high school and somebody gave me this little bag, I'd be super happy because it is actually quite cute. It's just not my vibe. With metallics being all the rage, I saw this purse and I thought, oh yeah, let's do that. Let's do the metallics. Um, I don't know what possessed me to grab the blue one. I thought that, oh, well, blue, it's so pretty. It's like, you know, ooh, aquamarine. In reality, it's just not me. They've got it in other metallic shades and I should have gone for the silver. I think I am actually going to exchange this for the silver because I think that this is actually a really beautiful little clutch for the holiday season. And with silver trending the way that it is and metallics trending the way that they are, this little bag is actually really, really cute. And one to look at if you are looking for an evening bag for this holiday season upcoming. But it does have a strap that you can can put on here that makes it a shoulder bag. Um, I would just carry it around like this as a clutch though, because I think it's just really beautiful as a clutch. I love the geometric shape of it. I just think it's really beautiful, modern, clean. Can't go wrong with this little bag for the holiday season. Moving on to the beauty product that was sort of a fail, but sort of not. It is this foundation. It's the L'Oreal Age Perfect Radiant Serum Foundation and Sunscreen. It's a broad spectrum SPF 50 sunscreen serum foundation thing. I have to say that it is a stunning, stunning foundation. I saw glam girl Gabby talking about this. She talks about it all the time. And, um, 
it looks beautiful and flawless on the skin. I'm actually wearing it today and I have to say that I love the way that this foundation wears. Now what makes it a fail is the fact that I the shade that I picked was a little bit deep for where I am right now. This is a perfect summer shade for me. It is in shade 110 Classic Tan. So a little bit too dark for me at the moment. So I did order one in a, sh a lighter shade. I had to get it from Amazon though, because Walmart didn't have the shade I wanted in stock, but Walmart does have other shades. And so, um, do check it out on Walmart. If not, I will link the Amazon as well. The ones on Amazon as well. Oh my goodness, guys, this is a beautiful, beautiful foundation. What I really, really love about it is that it doesn't sink into my fine lines. It looks like perfection all day long. It is really a beautiful long wearing foundation. So if you have a bride or you are a bride, or maybe you're a mother of the bride, whatever the case may be, where you have got to wear your makeup for hours and hours and hours on end, this is the definitely a foundation to try because I have put this on in the morning, shot content all day long, and then uh, gone over to my family's house to hang out and then come home. And I look at my skin and my foundation is perfect. And it's because I'm wearing this one. It's calling itself a sunscreen. I don't know if that, if you could call it a sunscreen, because I know you're always told, don't use your foundations as sunscreens, but this one says it's a sunscreen. Um, so, when I wear it, I bypass my sunscreen. Maybe I shouldn't. I don't know. But anyway, it has a really beautiful skin-like finish, but it's perfected and it lasts all day long. All day long. Like, all day long. So anyway, love it. I'm going to leave you with a couple of my haul videos here so that you can see some of the other stuff that I've been picking up this fall. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. I truly appreciate it, and I hope to see you in those videos. Bye! Bye!